Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Global Healthy Living. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, colorectal cancer, but before I continue, please subscribe to my channel and be part of the Global Health family. And when you subscribe, don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you're notified each time a video is uploaded. So one might want to know, uh, what is colorectal cancer? Colorectal cancers are the kind of cancers that start in the colon or the rectum. These cancers can also be called cancer of the colon or cancer of the rectum. And this depends on where the cancer starts. So if the cancer starts in the colon, it's called cancer of the colon. And if it starts in the rectum, it's ca called cancer of the rectum. But together, they are called colorectal cancers. These cancers are grouped together because they have uh, similar features. Uh, to those who may not know, uh, the colon and the rectum make up the large intestine or the large bowel, which is part of the uh, digestive system or call it the gastrointestine system. So how does colorectal cancer uh, start? Colorectal cancer starts as a growth on the inner lining of the colon or the rectum. And this growth, uh, growth, or you can call them the lumps, are called polyps. Some types of polyps can change over time and turn into cancer, but not all polyps turn into cancer. It's important to know. If a cancer forms in a polyp, uh, it can grow into the wall of the colon or rectum over time. According to the World Health Organization, colorectal cancer is one of the five common cancers we have worldwide, and it's one among the five common cancers that kill people worldwide. So it's a very big problem we have. So what are the signs and symptoms of colorectal cancer? Number one, a change in the movement of the bowel, uh, and this change can be in form of diarrhea, it can be in, uh, in form of constipation, or it can be a narrowing uh, of the stool. So if you have this kind of change in your bowel for a long time, please uh, contact your doctor. Maybe you have colorectal cancer. Uh, the second symptom is a feeling that you need to have a bowel movement that it doesn't uh, re get relieved even when uh, you do so. If you have such a feeling uh, which is persistent, please go for screening. Maybe you have developed or you're developing a uh, colorectal cancer. Another symptom is persistent abdominal discomfort. And this abdominal discomfort uh, can be in form of cramps. It can be like girls. It can be pain. So if you have such uh, persistent discomfort, please report to your doctor. You can also experience weakness or fatigue. And also you can lose weight unintendingly. So if you have these kind of symptoms that I've mentioned, please go for a checkup. It is important for you to know that uh, these symptoms of colorectal cancer can also be caused by other conditions in your body. And these conditions can be like an infection, it can be hemorrhoids, it can be irritable bowel syndrome, or it can also be inflammatory uh, bowel disease. So if you happen to get these kind of symptoms, please, please run to your doctor for screening. So um, what are the risk factors of colorectal cancer? I'm going to group these factors into two. Uh, the first group is those kind of uh, risk factors that you can avoid. 
And the second group is those kind of risk factors that you cannot change. To begin with are, are the risk factors that you can change. And these factors are more of a lifestyle factors. So number one uh, is uh, being overweight or obese. If you are overweight, you are at a high risk of getting colorectal cancer. Secondly is not being physically fit. Please, people, go out there and make our exercise, physical exercises. It is good for you. So uh, if you don't exercise, if you are not physically active, you are at a risk of getting colorectal cancer. You are also at a risk of getting colorectal cancer if your diet is low in vegetables and in fruits. And also, if your diet is high in red meat, uh, such as beef or uh, pork, uh, it can be lamb or liver, or it can be processed meats like the hot dogs and some other uh, meats. So if you happen to have a lot of red meat, please, you are at a risk of getting colorectal cancer. Another one is smoking. If you smoke, you happen also to have a risk of getting colorectal cancer. And another one is if you use alcohol so much. Please limit. Limit. Follow the alcohol guidelines. Don't drink so much. Because if you do so, you risk at getting colorectal cancer. So the second group of uh, risk factors that I told you where you cannot change is uh, number one being older. Colorectal cancer uh, usually happen in people that are old in age, but it can affect anyone at any age, but it's mostly in people that are older. Uh, secondly, uh, if you have Type 2 diabetes, you are at a risk of getting colorectal cancer. A person with a history of colorectal cancer or a person from a family where they have a history of colorectal cancer is also at a risk of getting colorectal cancer. And also uh, your racial uh, or ethnic background puts you at a risk of getting cancer of the colon or rectal cancer. According to the American Cancer Society, uh, people with African-American uh, background happen to have a uh, high risk of getting uh, colorectal cancer compared to other people. So how can colorectal cancer be prevented? Number one is screening. Screening for colorectal cancer is one of the best ways uh, to prevent colorectal cancer. Uh, being that colorectal cancer doesn't show symptoms in its early stage, it is very important if you are at risk to go for regular uh, screening so that if you have any changes, it can be detected in time and then you get treatment. Remember, I always tell you that cancer can be successfully treated if it is detected in time. The second way to prevent colorectal cancer is uh, by working on your weight. If you are obese or if you are overweight, please try to lose some weight try to work on your weight in order to prevent the risk of getting colorectal cancer more so uh, it is important for you to have a diet that is rich in fruits and vegetables and you reduce eating uh, a lot of red meats uh, thank you so much for watching this video and please, please, please share this video to your loved ones and 
like comment and subscribe don't forget to subscribe because a lot is coming thank you